Welcome to Makeup Mug Wump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get ready because we have to leave the house today. <laughs> like it's a, it's a thing. We are going to uh, celebrate my mom's birthday in July. My mom has a birthday and my kid sister has a birthday. In August, my older sister has a birthday. We're just birthdayed all around. Oh, my stepmom has a birthday in August. Like my wedding anniversary is in August. This summer, it's summertime is crazy for us. And so many celebrations, and so there's many leaving the houses, which, if you know me, I don't like that. But we're <laughs> but we're doing it today. So couple things. One, um, Hello Kitty Day. So we're we're doing the Hello Kitty. Um, my niece is also a cat today. I don't know what that means, but I got the message right before I started filming that she is a cat today. What does that mean? No idea, but we'll figure it out. I hope she has ears on. That's what I hope because that's adorable. Um, hi, Eleanor. If you're watching, we're going to hang out. Um, we're going to have some lunch. We're going to go to Red Robin, which is one of Mr. Mugwump and I. It's one of our favorite restaurants. We really, go, we, let me put on makeup while I talk to you. I pulled this out earlier this week. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, Hollywood Flawless Filter. And, um, a beautiful subscriber sent this to me and uh it is absolutely gorgeous i love it so much i have it in the shade um fair and it's amazing it. i'll put on makeup while i talk mr bug and i really like to go to red robin for i never went there before i moved here about what four years three years ago four years ago something like that um i don't know for some reason i just thought I wouldn't like Red Robin, but then when we went, it's amazing. The garlic fries are the best, and the, uh, they're like my favorite fries on the planet now, which is saying a lot because I really like McDonald's fries. McDonough do is what we call that place. Anyway, so I really like the fries, but we also, um, one of the things that we really like about Red Robin is we kind of go in a little bit of an off time, like a little bit late for lunch or a little early for dinner, something like that. And it is, uh, they have comfortable booths. Their service is stellar because they have a different way of serving. And I'll tell you about that in a second. And also they, um, it's like, it's always a good temperature. This sounds like crazy, but I'm old. And as an old person, I don't want to be uncomfortable when I go out. And so one of the things that we do at Red Robin is, is read. So we go and read and we eat our food and we just enjoy like, Anyway, it's a thing. <laughs> so we love Red Robin. Let me tell you what I'm about to put on my face because I'm obsessed with this now. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. I got it um, and last week used it for the first time on camera. Have used it every day since that I've done my makeup and went ahead and got a second shade. So this is 112, this is 102. I just ordered this off of Amazon because they had the shade in stock. So let me get my makeup palette aka the bath and body works candle lid i'm going to mix the two together 112 works um, but it is slightly dark so i think with a little bit of 102 we should be we should be pretty good to go on shade match it has this like pearly i just got way too much no you don't need that much of this and i just squirted it out it has the dropper thing and you can't really control I'm knocking things down. Let me calm down. I have to leave the house today, and so everything's at a 10. Let me mix this up while I'm still talking. Um. Oh, also, another thing I really like at Red Robin is they have a drink that I really like, and that sounds crazy. I don't drink, like, alcohol, but I do enjoy, um, like, I, I'm like a soda person. And they have what, it's like a... So the base of the drink is a Sprite, and then they put um, raspberry and lime in it. So it's like a, they call it like a raspberry limeade kind of thing, but it's, it's so good. I love that drink so much. And so I, I, I really enjoy that. There is one server 
at Red Robin that when I order that limeade, I think that that server mistakes it for another drink that they also make. Not that he makes the drink wrong. So the actual drink is correct. So the base and the flavors and all that. That's not what he does. There's another drink there though that is topped with whipped cream. The limeade is not topped with whipped cream. But he tops my limeade with whipped cream. And it's only that server. And I don't necessarily want my limeade topped with whipped cream. But I feel terrible. And so I never, I never like tell him. And it's a thing. Also, the servers know us because we're probably the only weird people who read books in uh, the Red Robin. And we go... Not every week, but probably every two weeks at least. So, you know, they like in the kitchen, they call us the weird reading people or whatever. Also, we order the same thing every time because we really like it. And uh, at one at one time we went, Mr. Mugwump ordered something different. And they're like, what? <laughs> like, what are you doing, sir? <laughs> this is not okay. So anyway, um, love the Red Robin. Excited to go today. Um to celebrate my mom's birthday and super excited to see family oh so how they do service there it's it's unlike other restaurants which I really like some kind of do it but not like I think as a policy so if your drinks food refills whatever any server, not necessarily the person who took your order, but any server like expedites it and brings it out to you. So they they put in their little iPad your order for drink or food or whatever, and your your drinks could be coming out like instantly, but with someone else because the order got received, made, and then it comes out. It's so cool. Like it's it's just very efficient in our opinion, and we like it. So anyway. There's the Red Robin part. And then, after, I'm putting way too much of this on, but I got so much, I'm just trying to build it and see how it builds. Um, I have, we have appointments for all the girls to go get um, manicures and pedicures at a local salon here. And so that will be my mom and my sisters and my nieces. So we're all gonna go and get many petties today which is so fun and I'm excited about that hadn't gotten a manicure or a pedicure in a hot minute it's been a while it's not it's not something that I like do on a regular basis I know some people do like they have you know their standing nail appointment or whatever it is I don't actually do that um and I used to it was part of like the self-care that I said treat yourself you know I me mean? and I, I I mean, I liked it, especially when I had like one person that I went to and it was like every two weeks I had the same appointment and it was just, it was easy. I have a hard time with like going to someone new and I do much better with having the same person every time. And where I live, the, like the nail salons are, it, it, it would be difficult to try to get the same person every time and so I don't go <laughs> it's just how that works um I do have I mean I've been a couple of times to um the like the spa you know um and that's fine I had um we've had a couple pedicures there and um a couple manicures there too not bad not bad at all My self-care really is, I have a monthly massage and I have my hair washed every week. That's what I do for myself because I hate washing my hair. I hate drying my hair. I hate washing my hair. All of it. So that's how I treat myself because it's the, it's the thing that I can't stand. The massage is actually... Um, amazing too. I never thought that I could get a routine massage. I have fibromyalgia, so I'm in, so I have chronic pain, but also, um, 
different areas of me hurt at different times and you can never like predict it. You just either wake up with it or it comes on, you know, it, who, who knows. <laughs> but you can, you can exacerbate it. You can make it worse um, if you're not careful. And so I have been over the years just so nervous that I would make it worse with the massage. But my massage therapist is very well versed. Hello, this is the Abeline, Abeline, Maybelline Age Rewind Brightener and she's having a moment trying to get herself together here today. I hate this little spongy thing, but I also like it. It's a, it's a bit of a mess. Okay. My massage therapist is well versed in fibromyalgia among other things. And she's been a massage therapist for a very long time. And so she's had quite a bit of experience, which I appreciate. And we've only triggered, I think, two times, and I've been going. This will be my eighth month in a row going. And that may not be great, like, odds to you, but they are to me. <laughs> because the benefits of it are outweighing that. And we, we're also learning as we go for, for, you know, either depth of pressure and what to focus on or what to avoid when I'm already in a bit of a flare or having a tough time. Um, she does things that to me seem counterintuitive when I am in, if she, if she hits a spot that's like, whoo, you know, like, well, there it is. <laughs> um, she is, there are times, and I think depending on the depth of like where the spot is and, and what body part it is and things like that, she does different things. So sometimes she's just like, nope, not touching that anymore. And then sometimes she will, she, like there's this one she spot that she will like just literally lean her body weight on her one thumb directly on that pain point. And I'm like, this seems like it's going to be bad. It's not bad. It's, it, it actually makes it go away. And she knew that. I would never have thought. So anyway, it, it's been, that's been super good for me to have somebody that has experience, but also um, she does listen. I really like, I really like that. I have a hard time speaking up for myself in certain situations, especially when that person is in service to me, like doing a service for me. I don't complain. Like I don't, no, we don't complain. And so it's, it's hard to be like, I did not like that or this was uh, difficult or like it, it's hard for me to say something about that, but she is, insistent upon feedback in a way that I'm super comfortable telling her the truth. And so I think that's one reason that it is really easy for me to go back to her and to enjoy the experience and not be super anxious about it. I mean, I, the first time I walked in and I met her, I was like, hi, I'm anxious. <laughs> like it was like, that is how I introduced myself to her. <laughs> like this is, this is hard for me. Lovely Ann. I mean, it was just, it was difficult, but we got through it and we're, we're learning. I can do hard things. And you were like, Leanne, getting massage is not a hard thing. It is for some people. <laughs> and this is one person that it is hard for, but we doing it. We're doing it. How are y'all doing? It is hotter than, you know what? Outside, Mr. Rungwent woke up this morning and he said he saw that it was 80 degrees out. So he quickly went out and mowed the lawn at 8.30 this morning on a Saturday. I was like, I hate that you had to do that, but also happy that you did that because the lawn needed it. But he was like, I didn't think it was going to be that cool this morning. <laughs> it's been so hot. And the the news articles of it's the hottest, you know, the, the globe has ever been and all that. I can't read all that. I can't. There's I have a hard time reading bad news. <laughs> that sounds like elementary, but it's true. I can't, I saw the headline and I'm like, yep, yep, not reading that. Not doing it. Okay. That was the Kubai Kai, oh, Kubai Kai, the loose powder and glaze. I love that powder. It's like probably my favorite find, even though her eyeshadow palettes are stunning. Her blushes are stunning. Like it's, she's got amazing color products, but that is a workhorse powder. And I am happy that I found it. I really like how it looks, how it makes my skin look, how thin it is, how lightweight it is, but 
how pretty it is. My base looks amazing. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, just setting my eye primer, which was the Benefit Lemonade, of course. We're getting down there, y'all. I mean, I know this takes for flipping ever to use up eye primers. They will be in my sarcophagus with me because I will never use them up. It's just so crazy how little it takes and how many I have gotten over the years. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of a eyebrow pencil and eyebrow gel real quick just to be cute. To be cute. My flowers though, let me tell you, they have been eaten up this heat. I have a couple of flower beds out front that are uh, full sun and it is, has been full sun in, we've had a couple of rainstorms, but not nearly as much. But we also have, Mr. Mug won't put in some under, it's not really underground, but it is. It's embedded irrigation. He did a whole thing probably two or three years ago so that he didn't have to, and put it on a timer so that he doesn't have to water flowers. Like it just happens. Let me tell you, get yourself a handyman who also is like, getting getting lazy and then you get all the cool conveniences <laughs> like they just happen <laughs> so that works really well it also doesn't um you don't over water it you know it's like the same amount once you fix it to be as long as it needs to be that's it and um you know you can skip a cycle or turn it off or whatever if you need to but anyway um they've been doing so well my flowers are all blooming like crazy. My hibiscus is nuts outside. Um, looking so cool. I'll try to remember to put in some pictures of some of my blooms that I took this week because it was like all of a sudden we just had color everywhere. Cheers with your diet Mountain Dew in the morning. Okay, let's put some color back on this face now that we've gotten it all blanked out and beautiful. I am wearing something way out of my comfort zone today. Like way, not the Hello Kitty t-shirt. That, that, this one is fine. But I am wearing on the bottom half of me, like a, not a like, it is. It's a skort, but it's like a stretchy skort and it's baby pink. It's like this pink. It is from Halara, H-A-L-A-R-A. -A -A. I saw their ads and stuff all, over TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, like they found me, you know, and, and I placed an order for their jeans that are like legging material jeans. And I love them. I wear them all the time that I don't want to wear regular jeans ever again. I want these jeans. They're so comfortable and they do go into plus sizes, which is amazing. So, and I also have some of their leggings, but I, I like flare legs. I like yoga pants, flare legs on everything. I am a nineties girl. And if it doesn't have a flare leg, I kind of don't want it. I have some skinny jeans. I have some leggings, but I would much rather have a flare leg. Like I want to cover my shoes with my pants. I want it dragging the ground. You know, what I'm, I'm just that girl. I'm still, I'm still that kid from high school in here. There's a hair on my face. We're gonna find it. We're gonna get it. Yeah. Um, success. This is the best freaking bronzer. It is so pretty. And you, I, it's the silkiest thing. It's crazy. I think I got it from Shein or Amazon or I can't remember. Something really cheap a while back. And I just picked it up and started using it. Miss Lynn, it's in Fiji Fever. And there's still another hair. What are we doing here? are you doing? Oh my gosh. Hold on. Can we see it? Is it invisible? My goodness. One time I was at work at the university and one of the girls who worked there, her fiance came in and brought the big old chocolate Labrador um, pet with him on campus. And he came in real quick with the dog. Dog's name was Ginger. So cute. I mean, chocolate lab, big old, big old, I mean, just a love bug, you know? 
And this dog was so sweet. But the fiance was very country. As cute as he could be. Like just a baby dog. Cute, cute, cute. And he said to Ginger, the dog, can you see it? Can you see it? We were like, see what? Can you see it? Finally, Ginger sat down. He said, good, see it. <laughs> Can you see it? I don't know why I thought of that. Why did I think of that? <laughs> we were like, what are you trying to see, dog? There's the pure, pure nude baked blush from um, Essence in rosy rosewood. That has been a staple on this vanity ever since I bought it. And it is gorgeous. I love it. It is so pretty. All right. Let's find a highlighter up in here. We have many to choose from. I don't think I want like a pink highlighter. Even though I'm going real pinky on the eyes. Because I'm wearing a pink skirt today. So I would use this one if I was going pinky. This is the Essence Positive Vibes only. But I think I'll go with... I think I'll go with MAC Double Gleam. I'm still trying to find it, y'all. It's still, it's still here. Let's go with Double Gleam, which is a extra dimension skin finish that I got from the Cosmetics Company store, which is one of my favorite places to go now. I have one about an hour away, and then there's also one on the way to the mountains. And so we went to the mountains. Um, so I've been to now two in the last probably four months and happy 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 to have gotten everything that i got from there all right let's buff out with this little kabuki brush right here i have i mean that's pretty right we're liking it where is the hair yeah yeah i need to uh wash and brushes this looks like it has stuff on it, it oh Look, there's a, a rogue bristle. Get out of there. Okay. Blend all that so it looks just real seamless. And I think that looks really nice. Let's spray with Japanesque. Get rid of it because it smells. Mm -mm -mm. I do have a haul I need to film. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I have enough time to film it before I leave. But i um, got a few things that have come in. I placed another Kubai Kai order because I'm obsessed. Placed a Blend Bunny order for new stuff from their new collection. Have an Ulta order. And then my ZC monthly subscription came in with some products. It's such an odd, that's such an odd subscription. It doesn't come in any, it's like not in a marked box or bag or anything. It's just... Here's your stuff. It's just, there's no card. There's no, nothing. It's such a different experience than other subscription boxes. But the products, y'all, like, I think that's the thing that's getting me is that they're so good. And I don't think I ever would have gotten them for myself. Like, I never would have, like, purchased these things. But every single thing, thing that they've sent, I've enjoyed a lot. And the quality has been incredible. So I'm glad I'm getting it. It's just a, a different experience than other like subscription boxes that I have had. Okay, I'm just taking whatever's left on my powder puff and just tapping over the T-zone of my face that I don't want it to be too dewy. That hair is driving me nuts. Okay, so I looked all around this room today for the perfect pinks to wear i mean it's like a it's like a baby pink score it is so cute but i want my makeup to go but not like too much like i don't want it too much so i i went through several palettes and i was like nope 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 and i have pinks and i've got cute pinks but the one thing that was like, yep, yeah, I mean, I thought maybe the Strawberry Shortcake Glam Light. Nope. There's reds and there's like a pink, but mm, it just didn't do it for me. Here's the one that actually did it for me. How funny. This is Follow Me to Candy Cane Lane. The, you might not be able to see it, but the there is like this paper art here is there's depth to it. So it's like this real thick, um, just so you have the paper art. It's gorgeous. This is a P. Louise little quad 
that's what I wanted. <laughs> that's the colors that I wanted. I saw this and immediately went, yep. Because before that, I pulled the Morphe Floralise palette and I was like, those are pretty, but it's not, that's not exactly what I want. I'm, I kept it out just in case I wanted to supplement this palette, but this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted like bubblegum baby pink. So this is a, uh, I know that P. Louise has, she's got so many palettes, especially the kind that are really big chunky ones, large, that have like, you open the box, it's on the top, and then you pull out a drawer. I know she's got several. That one right there is beautiful, gorgeous. And then I have so many because last year I got P. Louise subscription box. And so this came, I believe, either in the advent calendar or in a subscription box but these shades she has like 50 times over but this was the one that had it so let's let's play with this let me grab my color switch so that I have I pretend like I wash my brushes um and I'm gonna go for it um it's I think this baby pink is gonna be it's in gumdrop avenue it's just so freaking cute and we're gonna go for it I'm not I don't have like a white base on that um lemonade is a pastel yellow and so it does some coverage of like veins and freckles I have freckles on my I have freckles everywhere but um I have freckles on my eyelid that if you're not if if <laughs> if the color that you're using um, is similar to it. It looks like it's unblended and it's not just a freckle. <laughs> it's the same thing with my lip line. If I don't use a lip liner, which I kind of rarely do anymore, but if I don't use a lip liner, it looks like my lip line is, or my lipstick is uneven. And it's because I have freckles on my lip line that cause it to be uneven. We got barkings. Can you hear barkings? I don't know why we're barking, but we're barking. I'm just lightly tapping and then blending in the crease and up because this is exactly the shade I wanted for this makeup look. Let me tell you about Sugar Drizzle, the independent makeup brand, has re-released or restocked three or four of their palettes, including the Man I Love Frogs palette, among others. I placed an order. I couldn't help it, y'all. I don't have any sugar drizzle, but I have long since watched from afar, like watched all the videos on it. And by the time I had said, you know, I really want the Man I Love Frogs palette, it was sold out. And it has been this long. It's been so long since they have restocked it that when I saw on Instagram that they restocked, I was like, let me go ahead and get it or else I'll be in the same boat for another, you know, nine months or whatever, waiting for it to come back. And I'm super glad, but I placed a big order. Don't tell Mr. Mugwump, I placed a big order. That's so cute. That's a good pink color. It's a, it's real, hiccups. It's real bright. It's not pastel. Like this is not a pastel pink. It's, it's bright. And I like it a lot. It, it is. quite pigmented. I like that. Okay. I don't know. These two on the bottom seem a little bit more corally than, than pure like baby pinkish. And I don't see anything in here that I want to use. See, this is the problem is that I'm going to be like, let's pull this. This has some, this one's got like a pinky. That fantasy shade is real good. And then this, this little lavender shade in storybook. This is Simply Posh Fairy Tale Fairies, which is amazing. I pulled this because I was like, surely this has a baby pink. Like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have a baby pink, like, shimmer is what I was trying to say. It does not, but it's quite good. The other one that I pulled, and let me look at it again. It doesn't, though. It's the Profusion like Mary Berry one, this was like a holiday, whatever, but I thought surely it has a pink. It has pinkish, but it's way too natural for what I'm 
trying to go for today. So let's try, let's deepen up a little bit with maybe even a combo of those two in the outer corner. So let me clean off my brush that I use for the outer corner and then, oh wait, hold on. Do I have a pink in my Clarity Cosmetics? I, shoot, I just stuck my finger in that. That was not the word I was about to say. Okay, I do. I have this pink. Let's try it. Let's try that pink first. This is a single from Clarity Cosmetics. See, it's a little bit poppier. I don't know that I want that, but we're going to do it on the other eye because I already did it. So hold on. We'll go make it even and then we'll go from there. That's not, that's not the shade I want, but I remembered I had a pink, but that's as good as I got from there. Do I have another one? Let me also check my Gimme Glow real quick because that could be a thing. No, that's only purple. We have all these gorgeous things, but I'm, I'm, you know, like you're like, I want this thing and you can't seem to find it. I want a bright pink, like a super. Some of y'all may be screaming at me like, it's this color you want. I don't know where it is. I don't know what it is, but it ain't right here. I know. I know. This is a give me glow. This is it. This is what I needed to do. I just need to pull all the freaking shades. This is a give me glow cosmetics giant magnetic palette that is so wonderfully priced. Also, I think that green is busted down there, but that's okay. Let's go with it. Um, I'm just going to use a combo of some pinks. Most of these are... Um, Depotted Jeffree Star palettes because I no longer purchase from that brand, but I'm also bouncing back and forth, I think, to a Profusion shade. This is exactly what I needed. I just needed all the pinks and then, then mix them together to get the one I want. Um, I've also, I mean, I've just got random stuff and I've sort of put them in color families question mark and then I pull from these and then my brand singles like Sydney Grace Makeup Geek you know like Mac like I've got a bunch of singles from all of those brands but they are in brand specific magnetic palettes this is just my it's kind of like the junk drawer of Singles or depotted shades, really. Um, and I have this one and then I have a neutral one. So this is my colors and then the other one is my neutrals. And I sort of just, when I get a shade that, or a palette that I'm like, I don't like all these shades or the packaging is terrible or something's broken or whatever. And I'm like, let me just depot what's left or what I want to keep. I just dump them in here and then it's good to go. I pull, I make, seasonally I make a singles palette for that season of like colors that I want to use or that I know that I like and I always pull this out and see what I like. But anyway, that's, that's what, that is exactly what I needed to do in order to get the perfect shade. I mean, it's huge. I think it's like 20 bucks or something. And then at one point, uh, they've had sales where it's like buy one, either get one free or buy one, get one 50% off. And so I think I have a total of four of them now, but only two of them have like shades in them because I don't have enough to fill the other ones, but I'm ready. I was born ready. Okay. This is the, the, um, shade that I want to use for shimmer today, but it's a lot lighter than I thought. Now I'm questioning. Let me look at this one one more time.
that's a pretty shade. Let me look. Yeah, let's put that Morphe shade on the center of the lid. And then that P. Louise shade, yeah, on the inside. And then bring it up. Mm -hmm. That's what I needed to do. I needed a but I need a twofer right there. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy now. We're getting there. I'm I'm usually am not this persnickety about like the shades and the tones or whatever. I usually grab a palette, maybe two, and do a look. But today I was like I wanted a specific look, which is rare. Normally I'm just whatever happens happens. But no, today it's been it's a thing. Okay. So this is um, Patalic from that Morphe palette, and then Sweet Street from P. Louise. So, I always um, use my fingers for shimmers. Some folks do not like it at all and, you know, prefer to use a brush. I don't mind. I wash my hands um, right before I do my makeup, and so they're generally clean anyway, but I find that I get the best impact, and I don't mind the sensation, so I'm okay with that. That looks perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. And I think this is the first time I've used this palette. I do like the two down here. This would be a perfect like depot and throw it in there if I had the energy or the, you know, the care to, because this quad is, I will forget about it. Like, just like I did today. Like I, I didn't say, I know exactly which one I want. I didn't know. And I'd forgotten even that it was there or what shades were in it. This would be a perfect example of something that I would depot in order to get more use out of it. But I, I, it's just beautiful. And I'm going to keep it this way. It takes a lot of energy to depot stuff. And I have to be like in the mood. And I also have to have like quite a bit of them to depot in order for me to like sit down and do it. Because it's messy boots. Oh, it's messy to depot. And you have to, to me, you got to be in the, you got to be in the right mindset to be depotting some stuff. Okay, do I have like a like a good crazy eyeliner that we want to use for this look? I say crazy. I guess what I mean is pink. I've got a couple that I can see here. This is an eyeshadow stick. That's too that's too natural looking. That's too warm. There she is. ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in Insomniac. That's cute. I like trying to find the perfect height to roll this up to. This is probably over two years old. Looks great though. Performs great. My sister and I ordered a pack of the creme gel liners. It was like holiday and they had like a sale that was like half neutral, half crazy colors. I say crazy colors, bright colors. We ordered it. I kept the bright colors. She kept the neutrals and it worked out really well. That's exactly what I wanted. Yes! I love it when a good plan comes together, especially when there's no plan and you're just winging it. That's what I feel like today. I kind of feel like I need a little bit more blush and even a brighter blush than what I've got on to sort of balance the eyes. So let me look and see with one hand, maybe one of these blush off. Can I open it with one hand without ripping out my eyelashes? Probably not. Let's just be calm. I did rip my eyelashes out one time. It was horrible. I looked like a crazy person for like, I don't know, two months. While they grew back in, it was nuts. Yeah, let's put some more. Let's put some more blush on in a minute. That's the one I was thinking of. This is the Love Dive blush from 
She Glam. It's Don't Pink Twice. It's great. Okay, let's get eye, not eyeliner, mascara on before we do that, though. Let's use... Let's use the MUA Makeup Academy Amplify Statement Lash. She's got like a ball on the end. It's a plastic bristle brush. I do a little bit of cleanup under my eyes because I got a little ham. You know how you do. It's not a bad mascara, is it? I mean, it's doing the job. Shall we put another one over top? Why not? Let's use MAC Magic Extension. I normally don't comment on the smells of mascaras, but this one has a smell not bad but it's noticeable I guess okay let's stop while we're ahead ish let's clean up under the eyes real quick and where did I set my mirror goodness I do need an inner corner highlight too. Don't let me forget to do that. But let's put a little bit more blush on because I think I need it. I'm a little bit on the more natural side and I don't, yes. I need some more baby pink. We're going to blend it out. Don't worry. Yeah, we needed, we needed something else here. here we go. Okay, now. Let me blend. That's so pretty. That's much better. Yes. That's perfect. This is what I was looking for. Inner corner highlight. And I want it to be like banging. So. What do we have that's banging? Okay, let's do, see, this is the, like, the spring palette that I've done. I haven't even changed it over to flipping summer because that's how crazy my life has been. But this is a Give Me Glow, just an, it's just an icy white. And I know I've got some pink in there for my finger, but we'll, we're going to just tap over it in this inner cavern of our inner corner. And it's just, just icy white. That's fun. That's what I wanted. Look how cute that is. That came out exactly right. Now, I would theoretically be totally fine pairing a really bright lip with this look, even though some folks like ascribe to bright eyes or, you know, like a super heavy eye or a bright eye or a colorful eye with a neutral lip. I would be happy to do that. But I'm about to go eat french fries, like, and a lot of them. Let's be honest. And so I think I'm just going to go with a more neutral, but a pinky neutral. This is the, all the, all the words have rubbed off of this tube. This is the Revlon colorful, kissable, balm stain thing in honey. These are long gone, long discontinued. 
They are minty. They are gorgeous. This is the best freaking shade. And I have maybe one more. I don't know. I use it sparingly because it is discontinued. It's still good. The other shade that was in the very similar thing, this was the Jordana Twist and Shine. It was modeled after those, but it was Jordana, so it was cheaper. This is a nude chic. Now, this girl is like a cool tone brown that I only have that much left. <gasps> but I think I have another backup of this. Um, these are also way long discontinued. But those are some of my favorite lippies that are like balmy so they feel really comfortable but they give a little bit of color and they look amazing and I'm just so sad that we don't have them anymore but uh if you have honey knocking around like in an old purse somewhere or it's fallen back behind the vanity go back there and get it because you will not regret having this formula still because it's still good but if I was going to go for a super poppy like crazy pinky color hold on let me find the one it's over here too. Come this one. Bap, 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 bap. I love this formula too. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. This is in the shade Romantic. And this is a normal shade. This is not like one of their limited edition shades. This is a normal shade and it is gorgeous. They stay through everything, but I don't want a liquid lip today. I would I want it to I want to keep it a little bit less. Um, I look adorable. Can you even know with how cute I look? Wouldn't you go to a birthday lunch with me at the Red Robin? Yes, you would. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Oh, scent of the day. I've already sprayed it, but just to let you know, is my Gingham Vibrant by Bath and Body Works. Holy cannoli, I love this scent. It smells purple. That's the only thing I can tell you um, to describe it, but it smells purple and it's amazing. I love it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you haven't already and hit subscribe if you haven't already because let's be friends on the internet. Um, thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.